If you're just tuning in, then my name is Joel Duggan, and this is The Citadel. It is a survival Minecraft server where I do geeky stuff in Minecraft with my friends, like this crazy place. This is the end, and we don't come here very much. And uh, I was working in the end last episode, and uh, we were working on the Enderman farm, which is down here. Let's go take a look. Now, I fixed this drop. I was doing some work off camera, and I fixed this, and this is really freaky. Watch this. Whoa. Such a long drop, but then you have a nice soft landing, thanks to two vines <laughs> and a little bit of string to keep them from like growing the whole way up and down. Um, but I think that's new. I don't think you could place vines on glass before 114. I could be mistaken about that, but that that to me is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm on board with that. But I've done some changes and uh, I've lit up uh, this other walkway here because, of course, this is on a 0.5, so we don't get any spawns over here. But that other walkway uh, is going to be a water stream and it has got to be on a solid level. So we were getting lots of Endermen spawning over there. And you can start to see on the left hand side here that I did a little bit of design work. I did a little bit of uh, decision making. We went with magenta glass, magenta carpet. And then I thought, you know what I don't build with very often that would go good with all of these things? Purper. I never use purple because it's really not a great block for most things. However, in the end, when you're building fun farms like this, who cares? Might as well use something fun and pink. So that's what we're doing. The other thing that we ran into here is that uh, I can't hit, there's four spots over here. Let's see if I can take a look at this from the side. So this is, this is a two by two area where these guys uh, land. I can't hit these guys at the back. Uh, it's, it's got something to do with these new, these new walls. And the hitbox in these walls is smaller now. And if I get too close, these guys in the front will give me a smack. But the guys in the back, I can't hit them with the sword. So it's really annoying. Uh, so I need to figure out a way to um, change the front of this so that we can actually reach in there and do the things that we want to do. I'm going to have to leave that for a little bit more research. Today, I thought the thing to do would be to come out here and uh and actually fix and finish up this water stream so that these ender pearls don't just stop there we actually connect it up to to the other enderman farm uh, so that's part one uh and if we look where did i go over here yeah so i put a little bit of a finishing touch on the redstone i got it all tidied up i got rid of the old redstone there was a there was an auto dropper that was here so i moved that out of the way um, i don't think i'm going to change these out for purple because it would be a really hard thing to do uh, with these Endermen. Um, I guess we could block it off and then we could add more, but we'll have to see. Um, this is obviously not finished. This is just temporary. So I have no idea yet what we're going to be doing in here, um, but it's going to, it has to be this height and uh, it has to be carefully constructed. But as far as decor, I feel like it might be, again, an opportunity to do some really cool stuff with Purper. Um, but I actually went and destroyed a end city where did i put everything i think it's in here ha yes so i ripped down an, uh, an end city but good and so we've got a really uh, a good chunk of uh, of materials here that we can actually use uh to create slabs and stairs and all the things that we're going to need to uh, complete this uh this build and the other thing that i discovered now this i can't believe i forgot about this but in 114 they change the way that you can dye stuff. You can still, it doesn't work with, it doesn't work with just car, just a uh, regular wool. So if you go to dye wool, unfortunately it's still one to one, right? So that's one way to do it. So you get two wool, and then from those two wool, you get three carpet, but we use a bunch of dye. So instead create a bunch of carpet and now you can dye carpet like you can dye glass. I completely forget about this. So now we can actually do this. And for one dye, we get eight carpet. So it's way more efficient. And uh, I, I'm really excited about that because uh, I was running out of wool and running out of carpet and it was becoming a real pain in the butt. So now uh, we can do all of this uh, the way that we want in a, a way that is not going to cause us to have to go back and forth and back and forth and get all kinds of different magenta wool we can actually just um, harvest it here I've got some flowers and all kinds of stuff so we are all set to really take a solid crack 
at at this this uh, waterway. So I'm looking forward to having this done. I think it's going to look really bright and really really colorful. One of those Endermen just died from entity cramming, and the Ender Pearl got shot out. Uh, so that is how this is going to function. However, one of the things I need to change uh, is these need stairs in front of them. So this, I think, is still a slab. Yep. And I want it to be a stair so that we can't see uh, so that we can't see the ice from the outside. Seems a little bit silly, but I think it's going to look better in the end. Grab that. And now I think going forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's always hard to figure out when and how you can grab these before they fall into the void. I've not had good luck. I'm also having yet more issues with my mouse. I don't know if it's Minecraft. I think it might actually be um, Razer and the software that I use. Let's so put that there. Grab this back. This is going to be a bit of a slow process, so it'll be a, kind of like a a cut and uh, heavy heavy updates on the YouTube video because this is going to be super slow. I'm probably just going to cut most of this out. I tried. I really tried. Now these ones can sometimes be a little bit easier if we use it offhand. Maybe not. Anyway, it's close. Uh, I also brought end rods on purpose because these torches do not look good. And I've got end rods and I've got carpet. And I think that this will end up looking much cooler. Even though we don't need a carpet there, I think it'll just look neat. I also feel like we might want to put an end rod in here somewhere somehow, or at least a light source. Maybe I'll put like a, a sea lantern underneath um, that the uh, first block there with the, with the dropper. That could look good. Okay, let's see if we've done this right. Huzzah! Up until we reach that point, this double carpet thing has to happen. Otherwise, the um, the Enderman could potentially spawn, uh, not spawn, teleport out here when they're getting attacked by us in the farm. So we got to be careful about that. For whatever reason, I do find that um, that purple does look good in the end. I find that just like the higher contrast stuff, probably because of the void and how dark the void is, does look better in the end. Okay, so where are we here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is actually supposed to be. Hey, I got it back. This is supposed to be packed ice. If you're wondering why I'm making these stairs, why it matters is because um, you, I want this walkway when it's finished, I want to be able to, I'm going to leave it open or at least have glass on the side so that you can see this, this waterway, uh, and you can see the blue and it looked kind of silly. So that's why I wanted to come out here and do the, uh, do the stairs to hide the ice. I do that with my waterways in the swamp too. Now we don't have to go too far with this. This might be the last one actually. I'm gonna come right to here and then use that as the end of it maybe. So I don't know what to do because out this far, I don't need the carpet. So I'm not really sure how to handle the end rods. I guess we could just leave them, whoops. That was close. I could just put like a carpet on top just for like for decoration. But I feel like, well, Endermen need a light level to spawn, so that won't spawn an Enderman. And I think that's far enough away. Where are we as far as 202, 203? So we're on 203, and I think that's far enough away from, from that area that they won't teleport. 
it's weird that they're not connected so i kind of want to put like a purple thing there like a almost like a pillar sort of thing and that could work although then it doesn't look as cool oh there goes an ender pearl <laughs> um it doesn't look quite as cool this looks really slick but then the transition here maybe this one needs to have like a stop to it and then we can start with like other other things and of course this is all just like ugly and temporary here we're working on the the beautification of the water stream and we've got a long way to go we've got to get all the way over there so it's slow going Yeah, they attack the mites. Actually, I fixed the other uh, Ender Ender. You can just see it right there, I think. No, that's the top of a of a pillar. But I've got another Ender Mite uh, on the main island. It's a great way to remove the Endermen from the main island. They want to do no almost nothing but kill the Ender Mite, and they kind of ignore the player. So um, if you're having trouble with Endermen on your main end island, then I would highly suggest... Um, highly suggest uh, building like a little Endermite uh attraction area and even if you don't want to keep the endermen just like ditch them out the bottom um of the world then it, it saves you a lot of trouble down the line i just got tired of walking on a single one wide walkway so i'm just gonna blitz i know we're gonna lose some purple but i i just don't care i'm getting tired of the of the pucker of hanging out over the void on a one wide one wide thing. We'll just go to this little connecting area here. I think it actually might be kind of cool to have a couple of bridges that are like here on purpose. That could be kind of neat. I did think about leaving this middle one as stone, but ultimately I thought it looked better as as purple and it wasn't like the end of the world that we were going to lose some of it. I'm getting most of it back actually. I feel like I'm getting 60 or 70 percent of it back i need and rods where would i have put those here's some don't think we need all of those they might have we might have more I keep on saying end rods i mean blaze rods but if there's any end rod oh hey look there's 51 end rods that'll help considerably and we can probably just make a ton of them right now. Oh, wow. You get a lot more than I thought. Perfect. We, we don't have to make a big, long trip then. I thought we were going to have to go hunting for all that kind of stuff. No, that'll, that's perfect. Uh, let's put those in something. Oh, by the way, uh, I think someone might have had a creeper explosion out here because this thing was a wreck. But in the process of fixing it, I also used some of the new the new stone stairs and slabs that are available. And this crack looks way better now. You can do some really cool stuff with, with slabs. Yeah, that's starting to look really cool now that it's all together. I kind of wish I could... I almost want to put string down over over the center part and continue like a that single that single line of carpet almost i don't really know if i want to do that definitely feeling the need to be very careful although you know sometimes it's nice like sometimes um just doing simple tasks like this is uh it's a nice kind of stress relief because i'm not trying to do stuff super quickly like mining you're always just trying to get it over with so you're always trying to mine really fast uh, and then um, sometimes if you're just trying to get something done, like I, I tried to do that Endermite thing last night before I went to bed and I was tired and it just, it wasn't going my way. And so then I started rushing around and it probably took a lot longer if I, than if I had just like taken my time to do it. Do you have any auto wool farms on the Citadel yet? You could be, could be a fun little project for a future stream. Uh, yes. And as a matter of fact, um, I don't have one. But we've not had the need for one because we've got a spider farm that kicks out so much string that we can kind of make our own wool. The problem, of course, is that we don't have the dyes. So having an auto wool farm, one, it's just it's another fun project just to do on stream, and, and I agree. But what I was thinking of is in the sci-fi area that I want to do a build on the server, 
I'm going to take the time and do a really unique texture pack. Like I'm not going to care too much if it's too outside the norm. But one of the things we're probably not going to use a lot of is the wool texture uh, in in um, in the sci-fi area. It's probably going to be more concrete and stuff like that. So I thought a fun thing to do would be to make steel wool and and uh, maybe even retexture the sheep so they look like robot sheep and then we could shear steel wool from robot sheep and then give it like a cool texture so that it looks like it has like rivets you know in the side of it you know like a steel plate i think that'd be kind of fun and then we would have like steel in all kinds of different colors the sci-fi stuff i want to do it's kind of also an exercise for myself as an artist. I want to try and do my own texture pack where it's really far afield, like something where while it looks like it could have been designed by Mo Yang, it's, it's not at all just reusing default Minecraft textures and pretending like they're sci-fi. Like if I really need something, I'm going to make it. Uh, I fully intend on turning some of the um, paintings into some cool looking like sci-fi esque looking panels, you know, like, with like meters and like the kind of thing that you might see in like a Star Trek, a Star Trek episode. I think it would be kind of cool. So I'm still not quite sure how to handle, oops, let's go there. How to handle these, these sections here with the end rods. I'm thinking we could do something with stairs and slabs, but I don't know what. Like I could turn this into a purple, like we could maybe use some purple pillar and maybe that's all it needs. Maybe it just needs like a straight up, you know, something like this. Do I have any, I've got some slabs here. Let's do this. If this was purple, you know, like here and we did this and then, so it didn't have spawns on it, just like did that. I don't know what that looks like from over there. How did he get over there? That's odd. He shouldn't be able to spawn over there. The only problem with that is that it completely eliminates any ability to walk along this. You can't, you can't easily traverse it. And that's one reason why I'm hesitant to do something like that. Whereas if I had just something down the middle, which could be just as simple as doing like slabs or, or carpet. The problem is like slabs will stick here, but carpet, I'll have to put string like all underneath that. And I don't like seeing string everywhere. So I'm not sure. Is there a purple wall? I don't know. I don't think so. Did they add one? They added endstone walls. Did they add purple walls? Maybe they did. I feel like I should know this because I do a podcast about Minecraft. No, they did not do a purple wall. I do need to take a break though. Feels like a pretty good point to do it. So I'm gonna take a quick stretch break. I'm gonna get back to a safe AFK spot first, of course. Mm -hmm. 